Craig Remigay joins us with some more free legal advice. Uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, process uh, people need to go through after a car accident and uh, not necessarily relying on the police to take care of things. Well, a lot of times right after the accident, the people talk to the police and they say, oh, the police took down all the names of the witnesses. The police took a statement from the other person and they assume that the police got the accident drawing right and everything done correctly. But when you go back and look at the accident report, names of witnesses aren't on there, or the accident isn't drawn right, or you have the people, the first person that's listed is supposed to be the one that caused the accident. Mm. The second person listed is the victim. Right. Sometimes those are switched. Okay. So after you have the accident, make sure you go down and get the police report to make sure everything is correct. Okay. In addition, make sure that you have all the information yourself just in case it doesn't make it to the police report, sure. such as the witnesses. One of the critical things after the accident is you have to prove the other person failed to act as a reasonably careful person and caused the accident. Right. Let's pretend that we are in a traffic accident involving a street light. Mm -hmm. Who took pictures of the street light exactly when it happens so you know who's red and who's green? Nobody. So you better get some other witnesses because a week after the accident, the person that caused the accident might say, I had the red light. Right. And then you have this he said, she said dispute. Who's going to win that? We don't know. Is that worth taking to a jury trial? If you have a third party witness that says, I was present, I saw the green light, I saw who had it. It's a big deal. It's a real big deal. Yeah. So don't necessarily rely on the police. The police do a great job, but they do make mistakes. Sure. Sometimes things are admitted, omitted, and sometimes it's just better to have that information yourself. Sure, absolutely. So make sure that you do that due diligence after you're in an accident. And is there anything else that they should be covered other than noting down every single possible thing at the accident uh, after that? Or Well, uh, everybody has a camera now. I think that it'd be a good idea to sure. take pictures of the accident, the accident scene. Was there visibility problems? The defendant in the civil suit can come up with all kinds of arguments to say that they didn't breach their duty. Mm -hmm. If you take care of some of those things by taking pictures, getting witnesses, getting all the details, you eliminate that potentially devastating defense. Right, and it just, it can't hurt. That's take. right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, if you have any questions for Greg, uh, you can feel free to contact him with that info right there on your screen. We'll be right back after the break.